Over the next few days I'll be exploring some of the very best scenery on offer in the UK as I undertake a landscape photography road trip to Ascent in the far northwest of Scotland. The weather forecast is set to be, well, wild and wintry and my 4x4 camper van will be put to the ultimate test as I attempt to capture some of my best landscape images. So the plan over the next few days is to drive around the northwestern tip of Scotland and I'm hoping for some beautiful winter weather. It's not here yet, although it's chilly. It's forecast to be snow showers over the next few days, sub-zero temperatures and snow showers blowing in from the north. And the beauty of that is that between those snow showers, we should get light. Like it shouldn't be socked in. I always say that and it's always socked in, but it should be light and then snow showers. And then there's other conditions on paper look like they could have some real potential for some dramatic images. That's what I'm hoping for. And yeah, we, that's why we're here, man. So when I was planning this little photography road trip of Scotland, I starred a few locations in Scotland of areas that I want to visit. And this is the furthest north. So it made sense to me to drive here and then work my way south, kind of along the west-ish coast of Scotland. Now this is a location that I've wanted to photograph for a long time, but this is more of a sunset location. So I'm not actually too concerned at the minute that we have no light because if we did have light, it would be very difficult to manage. I'd be shooting straight into the sun. So instead, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get out the long lens, the 100 to 400, and just keep my eye on these mountains because as you can see, we've got showers blowing through, the light kind of comes and goes. So there may be potential for something with the longer lens shooting into the mountains. So we're getting a, a nice bit of cloud action on the mountains just above there. We've got beautiful texture of the rock and the snow and that interaction with the cloud and a little bit of light as it reflects off the clouds above. And actually it's making for quite a nice image. Don't get me wrong, it's, it's a very simple, straightforward image, but it seems to be working. And it's certainly the best that I can make of this location right now without light and without breaking out the wider lens and building in foreground elements, which I'm hoping to do later on at sunset. But for now, I tell you what, I'm quite pleased with this shot. So I've come back to the van for some uh, some lunch and I've got the diesel heater on so I can attempt to dry out some of my clothes, uh, mainly my jacket and waterproof trousers. So when I was on the shore of the lock, I really couldn't see any compositions. Obviously I got that shot with the long lens, which was okay, but I wanted something so much more than that. And I walked around most of that lock and couldn't find any compositions. It was all just water, it was uninspiring. Whereas the backdrop was incredible, the edge of the lock itself it just wasn't producing the goods. So what I need to do is hike probably a mile, maybe half a mile away from the lock, uphill, and then I'll have a view of that same mountain range, but the lock will be in its entirety. So the lock will be a smaller feature in the image and I'll be compressing the landscape. That's my plan. 
I really hope we get some good conditions because at the end of the day when the sun sets I'm off I'm moving south down the west coast so uh, yeah Whew, let's keep our fingers crossed for this one eh mmm Oh well, <laughs> what a difference half an hour makes. Whilst eating my chicken wrap, uh, we had a heavy dumping of snow. I mean, it's, it's less than an inch on the ground, but it's sticking to all the trees and everything. Well, the whole landscape has just been transformed. So I've, I'm rushing out. <laughs> it's, uh, I wasn't planning to go out to late this afternoon, but who knows how long this will last. And I tell you what, the temperatures dropped as well. I think this weather front when it was raining before has brought with it cold air. Um, so yeah, oh this is good, this is what I was hoping for. Now let's see if we can get that shot I was talking about. <laughs> Alright, so we've come up quite a way uh, back behind me. It's the lock, and at the minute, we can't see the mountains totally clagged in. However, if and when that changes, it should be fairly spectacular. I've seen pockets of light, and, and you can see mountains all around, so it's surely only a matter of time till this view opens up. And uh, first impressions are that I am much happier with the composition from up here than down on the shore of the lock. Uh, but yeah, we'll just, it's just now a waiting game. Simple as that. Oh, the peaks are beginning to reveal themselves. So this is uh, certainly going to be a game of patience as uh, we were just getting glimpses of the mountain and I fired off one shot just testing out my composition and it seemed to work very nicely. I do feel though that it could be a lot better if we just get some light or more clarity on those mountains. They were quite hazy with the clouds. So yeah, it's just a waiting game. That's all it is. These showers blow through and then between the showers, that's when we want to be looking towards shooting. So I'm, I'm sure the audio is quite terrible because the wind's picked up. Visibility has all but disappeared. So what I'm actually going to do is walk about 300 meters down this hill where there's a lovely forest of birch trees. And I'm kind of hoping with, with this driving snow, there might be a shot of the birch trees. Uh, something quite abstract and wintry. And you know, when it stops and if the, the, you know, the sky, the clouds break, and we start to get a bit of visibility and light. I'm five minutes from this spot, so better than just waiting around cold. <laughs> so, yeah, we'll go. Well, I kind of lost all hope. You can see the birch forest there behind me. I had a, a look in there. It was unbelievably chaotic and. Mm, Sorry guys, I couldn't make a shot, like I couldn't compose anything, it was just pure chaos. One of those situations where we've got beautiful conditions but not enough of it, it needs like another foot of snow. And I kind of all but given up, because you can see just over my shoulder there, well you should be able to see that mountain range, and you can't. However, check this out, oh I got half flipping heck. Alright, I don't know if you can see this. Uh, we have light and blue skies, so what you know for the past hour look at this i'm so sorry i'm so sorry i'm gonna have to when i get to my shooting location i'll clean <laughs> i'll clean the lens working when it's this wet and it is wet it's a very wet snow is difficult anyway i'm gonna get to uh get to where we're going clean everything up and pray to the high heavens that the mountain's clear we get light ah wouldn't that be nice <laughs> Well, we can finally see the mountains after a good couple of hours of snowfall, sleet and rain. And I've got to say, I'm much, much happier with this. 
Uh, this is better. It's still not perfect. I'm having a couple of issues with composition because there is one peak to the left of the range that balances perfectly with the lock in the foreground. And all the peaks are visible apart from this one. So the composition is off balance. We've got the lock down here, the mountains up here. It feels wonky, it feels wrong, it's off. And it's all because the cloud on this mountain isn't clearing. Although as I look at it now, it is starting to clear. So fingers crossed before the next big batch of snow comes, which is inevitable in just a few minutes. Ah, <sighs> hopefully we'll get this. Yeah, it's been a fun day. <laughs> With my video camera soaked through and having some serious condensation problems, I struggled to film the remainder of this photo shoot, but I was fortunate enough to get a brief window of good light. The image I had planned for did not work out. I was unhappy with the composition. The cloud shrouding the hill on the left hand side completely threw the scene off balance. The landscape felt messy, busy and cluttered and although the clouds had broken there was no light on the scene. However, Two minutes prior to this shot, we did have light and I was able to capture this panoramic of the mountain range as they appeared through the cloud. This was a brief opportunity, so I had to work fast, hence the lack of video footage. Only one minute later and the light had gone and the clouds lifted. So I am incredibly thankful that I was able to take advantage of this brief photographic opportunity. Well, that to me was the definition of a hectic photo shoot. And if you think it's difficult photographing when it's hectic, changeable like that, try making a video as well. So I apologize if the video of those last couple of photographs weren't quite up to scratch. We had mist in lenses, blizzards blowing through and limited time, and I mean limited time. Three, three minutes tops to run around and get everything. Um, but yeah, really happy with that, but for now, um, we're going to move on. I'm going to go find a new park up for tonight and then I'm very excited to see what tomorrow morning brings because there's been a lot of snow, like not just where I am but across the north of Scotland. Uh, a little bit apprehensive for driving because we are incredibly remote. We're probably going to drive 30-40 miles without uh, seeing any signs of habitation. Uh, it's just really remote single track road so I'm a bit nervous if I'm honest. Uh, it'll be fine, it'll be fine, it's not too windy, no no snow drifts. So yeah we'll crack on to our new park up and uh, try and get prepped and ready for a, uh, a new adventure tomorrow. <laughs> So I just realized when driving away there that my headlights <laughs> had gone, uh, which is not good at this time of the year when all my driving was going to be during the night. Uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm hoping it's just a fuse. I've had this problem before. I've still got full beams. I've still got all my side lights, uh, but still I can't drive without normal headlights. That is a blown fuse and I don't know if I've got any spares. I should have spares. I'm sure I carry spares. No spares in the roof box. Yes! <laughs> ah, oh, thank God. Right, fingers crossed we should have some lights. Yes! All right, onwards and upwards.
so we have arrived at a new location. I've got the diesel heater on. It's currently minus two degrees and we're still at it with the snow showers. It'll be heavy, heavy snowfall for like 10 minutes and then it just stops completely actually. I'll show you um, outside. There's quite a lot of snow on the ground. I'm, I'm quite excited for tomorrow morning. I'm Yeah, okay, it didn't look that much actually, but there is um, a good uh, a good couple of inches on the road. And the drive, man, I am, I am, I don't know why I was worried. Um, I think it was about a two-hour drive, ups and downs, through lots of snow and ice. And I put this Delica in four-wheel drive, and I tell you what, it just cruised. It was there was never a question. It, it just held to the road, felt stable at all times. So I'm just. That's what I needed. I just needed a good drive, you know, over some mountain passes, through some really, really slippy, icy snow and some deep snow, and yeah, we're all good. I'm hoping another snow shower doesn't blow through. I've got a cook with my side door open and the fan on and the cooker right by the side door because otherwise the whole flipping van just fills, fills with carbon monoxide and my alarms start going haywire. And I'm just gonna relax and pretty much look forward to tomorrow morning because we are parked up. Not near to, but on, <laughs> on a location which looks fantastic. And what with the snow and the forecast, it's forecast for really heavy snow tomorrow morning. Um, hopefully that will happen. Maybe, hopefully we'll get light as well. But I'm, I'm thinking even with just heavy snow and no visibility, uh, we should be on for some nice images tomorrow morning. So join me next week to, uh, to see that. And thank you so much for watching this video. Bye for now.